Welcome back. So in the last video, we have seen how to use TCL. We have seen how to create tables, how to insert values. In this video, we'll see how to use delete command, how to use truncate, how to use drop table and drop database. So let's start with the first one, which is delete. So before that, let me first check whether data available in my database. So we'll say select star from student. And when I say execute this, you can see I have this record here, which is Navin Rahul and we have all this detail. Now, in order to delete the data, we can simply say delete. So we have to use a clause, which is delete clause here. And then you have to mention the table name, which is from student, where. So let's say I want to insert all the, I want to delete all the student where the roll number is greater than two. Cool. And then we can simply say control enter to execute. You can see there's something called as two rows affected. Okay. And then, uh, we'll say again we'll say select star okay I guess I have kept uh, it is as auto commit okay let me just go by rollback I hope I have done the auto commit false okay auto commit was true so uh, so it is deleted permanently right but time in let me remove this auto commit and uh, now let's delete the roll number of two so if I remove this roll number two, which is Rahul, and if I say control uh, enter, so it says one row affected. And now if I say select star, so it says only one record. But if I say roll back now, and if I say select star, so you can see you get you got the data back. So to delete, we have to say delete from the student where roll number equal to two. Now what if I say delete from student so if you say delete from student and if you say enter so it says to the affected it will delete all the data from the database or table so now if i say select star from student you can see we we are getting only the table structure not the data so when you say delete from table it will delete all the data from your table and when you want to delete only the part, some particular rows we can use where clause but there's also something called a truncate so truncate works in this way. So we have to say, first make, let me go back with the rollback. So if I say rollback and if I say select star, now you can see data is back. Now there's something as truncate. So how to use truncate? We can say truncate and the name of the table, which is student. Now what's the difference? If I say delete from student, it will delete all the data. If I say truncate student, again, it will delete all the data. But the difference is once you say delete and you can simply say rollback. So delete statement, after delete statement, you can actually roll back the whole data. But once you say truncate, so if I say a truncate, you can see zero row affected. And if I say select star, okay, if I say star now, so it, it is, you have the blank data. And now if I say roll back, let's see if I get the data back. And if I say enter, data is still not there. So that's the difference between a delete and a truncate. When you delete, you can go, you can roll back. When you truncate, you can't. So that's why delete comes under DML and the truncate comes under DDL. Okay. So delete is DML and truncate is DDL. Cool. So this is how we have to use a delete clause. Now what we'll do is let's try to use some other clause. Now what if I want to drop the table? So in order to drop table, we have to say drop table because drop table is a DDL. So we have to use a keyword, which is table there. And then you have to mention the data table name, which is student. And if you say enter, so you can see draw table is dropped. And if I say show tables now to the Pascal query, it says no table available, which is blank. And now let's say show databases. So it will show all the available databases. So you can see there's a list of databases. What I'm concerned is I have a database which is ABC. I want to drop this database now. So in order to drop database, you have to say drop database ABC and a semicolon. Now if you say enter, so you can see it has uh, drop the table. Let's say show databases. And if I say enter, so you can see ABC is not there. Simple. So this is how we have to work with uh, uh, MySQL commands, which are delete, truncate, drop table, and drop database. 
So that is from this video. So for more videos, do subscribe and thanks for watching.